Jason Dunn, I I feel like I know this kid. I listen to what his mom and his dad say. I listen to his brothers and his sister tell the funny stories. And it's very emotionally draining to realize that here was this really, really good kid. Somebody always listens to the radio, you know? And when you hear, you know, the certain brevity code come across the radio, you know that there's casualties. And you just pray to God it's not, it's not somebody from your company. This was truly, truly a very special young man. You could say he was born on the Marine Corps birthday and he was destined for this and this was his, his destiny. But I don't know why we don't have all young Americans the way this kid is. When that grenade went off, Corporal Dunham, let's go by Hampton and uh, Miller, they all dropped. And I remember Ferg told me, he said, uh, he said, he said, man, when I saw him, he said, I thought I lost three Marines right there. I think what he was trying to do and what he did do was with, with complete disregard to his, himself and for the safety of his fellow Marines, he dove upon that device and he died in doing so. Corporal Dunham took his helmet off, put it over the helmet, or took his helmet off, put it over the grenade, thinking that that would be able to reduce the blast and save lives, you know. Um, and it went off. He took the brunt of that, of that. and uh, his other two Marines are still alive. He got it. Jason Dunham got it. He understood it. And in his 22 years of life, he has lived more and shown more and done more than people I know who have been around for 70 years. I didn't see him again. He flew out a day or two later to Bethesda. and. Uh, as I understand later at Bethesda is where he, uh, he passed on, you know, but uh, I believe his family was by his side when it happened and, um, you know, I'm thankful that they got to at least see him, even if, even if he wasn't awake. I'm glad that they got to see him before he left and, uh, you know, I hope they know that he was a real Marine, you know, and that, uh, that he was a real Marine, a real man, he was a friend and a brother. and. Uh, we're all proud of him, and uh, as long as I'm a Marine, I'll never forget him. I know that, and I, I won't forget the sacrifice that his family has made, and uh, and we'll always remember him. You know, he's he's a hell of a Marine.